This is a two-way charging hub for the DJI Mini 2 drone. It looks like this, you can fit in three batteries. And this is a serial charger, it's not a parallel one. Serial means that first it charges just one battery, when it's completely full then it charges the next one, and then the third one, so it's not charging three batteries at once. DJI, more text here. Some drawings here, this is the charger for three batteries, batteries are not included, neither the charging adapter, so you have to use your own adapter, input 5V, 3A, 9V, 3A, 12V, 3A, so it's quick charge 3 compatible I guess, because of those high voltages and high amperages. And it has an input and an output, so you can also use it as a battery bank. Plug in your batteries and then charge a device, a remote control, even your smartphone or whatever you want. So it has an input for charging and an output for discharging, that is, charging an object. It has a seal here on the top. I cut that thick plastic using a knife. Let's take a look what's inside box is empty, some gel and paper, two-way charging hub, user guide, has a drawing in multiple languages, that many languages, and some useful pictures, drawings. It has to make a click sound, I guess. It's showing the battery charge level, click sound when you remove it also. You can charge your smartphone and your remote control. Battery ports, 2 is the status LEDs, 3 function buttons, 4 power port, it's USB-C so you can reverse it, USB port is the 5th one, some voltages and amperages, and that's it. Let's open this, it's pretty small, I thought it's larger, but it's that small. And it looks like this. Status LEDs, DJI logo, three batteries, they are not included. Technical specifications, two-way charging hub. Here we have the output, it's even mentioned out. It has an in, USB-C and a power button. Some openings here and nothing on the other side. Pins, they are not in line. First is lower, second is higher and so on. There's nothing on the bottom. That should make a click sound I guess. It has to have some electronics inside because of these inputs outputs. And plus it's a charger. So it has to manage the voltages. Now here's a battery. It's a two cell battery. And it's brand new, it was never used. Those are the connectors. Three, four, five, six pins. Let's plug it in, let's see what will happen. Nothing, no LED comes on. I don't know how charged this battery is. Now let's see, I have to push this in. Uh, the hole is for the clicking. <laughs> it's not too easy to remove it. So you have to grab it from this end and from that end with your fingernail. And even then it's hard to remove it with one hand. And then somehow it comes out. Now that's a funky way to remove a battery. It should have a cutout to grab it from somewhere. Not to grab it from a tiny, tiny area. Once again. I have to use two hands. No, I did it with one hand. Now let's see my other batteries. Nothing, no LED comes on. Oh well, yes, it does. So I guess this is not charged up. That's how it is shipped. It's much safer. Yes, interesting, 
so this probably did not provide enough power even to light up the LEDs maybe power is coming from this one to that one and let's open up the mini 2 and remove the battery and plug it in there fully charged fully charged and fully discharged <laughs> now let's try a USB cable from my laptop the laptop is plugged in so it receives some power and let's see this should not provide too much amperage let's see what will happen it's charging the one which is at let's say 99 percent charged and the leds are flashing slowly so this is a slow charge because it's coming from my laptop and after this one is completely full then it will look at i guess that one and then at the third one but if I remove this battery and put it, let's say, there, then this should be charged, not the third one. So now if I plug it in, then theoretically this should be moving. And yes, it's always charging the one which is much more closer to 100% charge. Now let's remove this one and this should reach to 3 amps I guess. It's plugged in. Now it's flashing much faster. It's charging the fourth one. So all four LEDs are lighting up. And in a few minutes, moments, it should charge this one because that one is also fully charged almost.